So I hear that there's a lot of representatives out there who would like more detailed instructions on how to make creative items with your brochures. So I'm going to show you lots of different things that you can do and give step-by-step -step instructions on So them. the first one is bunting and this one is one of the very, very simple ones. I'm going to show you how to do them with the clearance brochures because I prefer to work with them better than the actual brochures and if you've watched my other video I use my brochures for book drops and like back ordering and things like that so I don't actually have to create things out of my brochures I just have the clearance flyers left over. So. There we have the clearance flyer and it's, it's good size and basically all I'm going to do is just cut triangles. So I've got my flyer there, everyone says I look khaki handed when I um, cut by the way. <laughs> and I'm just going to have a look at this in the centre of that page and I'm cutting top and then I'm just going to do the same on this side. Now if you wanted to you can measure it and things like that but to be fair I haven't got time for that. I'll just do, do it from that point. Make little triangles. So there's the triangles. And now what I do is I look at what's the most attractive of the triangles on the pages. So for instance, that one would stay like that, so that would be that face up. And then I might use that one because that looks a bit good with her eyes, like that. Same again, you know, we've got lips on that side. That one, bit of a mascara and, and an eye. So I'm basically just choosing, you know, what I think are the best sale for that one. So out of those two, the most attractive one is going to be the perfumes in the centre there. And then the most attractive one of that one would be the bargain bags. So once I've decided what the sides are, I'm just going to get some string. So I've just got a ball of string. Cut it to what the length is that I want. And lay the string out on the table. And then all I'm going to do is just pop these on here. Now you want to put the picture that you're going to show face down and put it underneath the string and then take the string on and just keep doing that. So I want that, that picture so I'll put that face down. Just try and make sure that you do, you put the string in it kind of like the same place on each triangle because if you add one which was kind of like you've only got a little bit of space and then that one is like up here then they're going to be wonky so I'm just gonna And here's the finished product. So I could then put this along my table or on the top of the gazebo that, I'd, that I've got or if I'm doing a house party put it along the walls, along the ceiling. If you've got lots and lots of the brochures or flyers and you want to get rid of them, you could just use a front page of every single one so that every every single one says Avon on. Or you could, if you say doing a sale, is use the Avon page and the sale page and just keep doing, you know, Avon sale, Avon sale, Avon sale. And um, so it's just about thinking of different ways how you can use um, the pictures that's already on the brochures to your advantage. So look at these, I've been a busy little bee and I've been making sample bags out of the Avon brushes. So I've been making these little short and stumpy ones. 
that's the same type again. I've made a longer one. And then I've made a big one. Now, in all fairness, they are quite fiddly to do. So I've been trying to find a way of what's the best, best way to do it because, you know, especially if you want to make quite a lot of them, you don't really want to be taking forever. Now, I don't particularly mind wrapping Christmas presents. Uh, I quite enjoy it with all those little folds and lines. So I've kind of made them on the basis of wrapping a Christmas present. So what I did is I raided the kitchen cupboard and I found myself a load of different shaped boxes. So I've got cereal box, dishwasher box, cocoa pot box, and, and then just like a smaller cereal box. And you'll see that this cereal box actually fits inside there. So, this is the idea. Let's make this big one. So first of all, what I did is I got my little sales catalogue again, open it up and just take the staples out of it and then they out the way. Now, I really would say use the flyers for um, the bags rather than the, the brochures because with the brochures you can't get two pages together whereas with the flyer you can you know there's my two pages other than you know you're gonna have to be sellotaping them all together so what I'm gonna do is just get my pages put one in front of the other and then sellotape the ends together and then it's just making that sheet bigger then. The why I'm using sellotape is because the paper isn't that strong so using glue it's not going to really carry much weight with it, sellotape gives it more of an opportunity to carry the weight. So now I've got my four pieces of the flyer sellotape together to make it made one big sheet. I'm going to decide what, what I want my front to be and I want it to be this side because that's got the Avon on it. So I'm just going to turn it face down and I'm going to be using this box. So what I can just do is just fold it over and it's basically just a Christmas present and I bet you're all thinking it took me quite a long time to think about it think it really I sat all day making bags and I thought this is a struggle it's taking forever so, there's my first bit of facility. So then, for the bottom part, I'm just going to make the, um, just like we do for Christmas presents. So I'm folding the edges down. But what I'd do is, I would reinforce all folds because, again, you're going to be putting products in or, you know, a brochure at least. So you want it to be strong enough to carry um, a few items. 
So when we've got it like this, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pinch all the corners just so then you can see them a little bit more. And you've got the bag and then you can juice it up a little bit more if you want to there's a bit of flapping over there because I've not put the solid tape on to the edge so I can just pop that so then if you're wanting to do handles Then again, you get string. So you can either do just like a thin handle on its own, which is one like that, or what I did is I did a stronger handle by getting three pieces together and plaiting them. I'll just show you with a thin handle. So we want two pieces. do is they get plain stickers and they stick them on the inside just so that they're hiding they're just making it look a little bit more tidy so if we get a sticker and I'm just going to put it over just a little bit of reinforcement as well that the way that bag was made then didn't actually take much time at all because I'd already got the template for it, um, rather than making it with all the folds and the likes, because that can take a while, you know, it hasn't got the folds down the corners, I mean if you wanted to you could actually do that, because we've pinched those edges, you could define them even more just by doing that. get the edges and meet them together bend it in do it on the other side get the corners together bend it in and there you go it's now flat open it up There's your bag. So then you could even go one step further if you wanted to make it fancy. Oh, and you can put little balls on if it's for Christmas. Get some red and green balls, pop them on. This is the part that'll take the longest now, trying to get this sticky thing off. Beautiful little sticky ball. Do you know what? I picked these up £1.25 when they were in the sale in January. So I've kept them all this time because <laughs> I knew there'd be a time when I needed them. You should buy all your things in January. There you go. So basically, I suppose it's just a case of use your Avon brochures like wrapping paper could actually use them as wrapping paper for some some things so there you go yeah that didn't go quite well did it there and there's a little bag and it's exactly the same with any size box that you want to get you know, just a tiny box there, fit into that one. So there, your smaller one. That was just a cocoa pops box. And again, the I've just put the white tabs inside, so then you, you make it look a little bit more professional. And in the white tabs, you could have already have printed on your details, 
your telephone number or the, the name of your store, things like that. So that's really how I would simply make So can you say and Kelly what other things could we possibly make with these brochures because it's just becoming crazy. So I thought of something else, um, kind of Christmas line because that's what's coming up next and I thought well why don't we actually wrap the, the items in the brochures like Christmas presents. So if you're doing a tombola then you know if it's a secret tombola then you could wrap them all inside the brochures, the brochure pages but also as well if you're giving them out as gifts at Christmas to your customers then um, I know some some reps just like go absolutely crazy and do all sorts now I'm giving this away I can actually I can have it as a base so I've just flapped it over there and just put the tiniest tiniest bit of sellotape on it and then just fold the corners in and then fold all this inwards and then you're just going to make sure that it'll stand up then with this bit here just scrunch that together so it makes a little frilly bit and then get some of your get some of this you can either make a bow or get one of these bows you know so if you're doing a you're doing like a raffle or a tombola at stall how Good. Is it gonna look with all the products that was in it? Oh, looked like that. So, still going along with the Christmas theme, what about this idea? So, we've got our little samples, but we don't really want to use the old fashioned way of just popping them in the bag. We want to do something a little bit different. So, how about making them into Christmas crackers? So, what you could do is just get one of these sheets, pop your samples in, and then make sure you've put a card with your details on. I'll put the card first, and then just fold it in the centre. And then you just want to pinch each end You know you can either give these away as presents um, to your customers at Christmas time or use them at first they could be in the lucky dip because you could have say so many of these in the lucky dip and then so many products or you could sell them for even you know 20p or something or 50p it, it all depends on, on what you consider your samples to do for you what the worth is to you so I'm just stretching this out a little bit more and then but we've got and it's so it's basically just Christmas wrapping things up but in Avon brushes and put a little sticky bag on it as well to make it look there you go so staying on the theme of the samples 
one thing that you could do really simple is find an attractive side of one of the pages and as simple as fold it in half and then just stay, just stir until it's perfect around the bottom and the side. There is a little sample wallet and it looks quite good because it's got the safe versus the high street and then inside it you're going to have samples and your card samples in, put your business card in and you could even just make little stickers yourself on the computer that say sample, stick it along the top, there's a little sample bag, you could if you wanted to actually put handles on those. very very simple sample bag in a matter of seconds